Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it is so lovely to see you today. In today's video we're going to be doing a wardrobe clear out and an update on my personal style these days. So grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. around here for a while you'll know that usually I refer to myself as vintage. I dress vintage, I like to collect vintage clothing etc. I have a lot of vintage capes up here which are going nowhere by the way but I just love the vintage style. However the decades that I'm really drawn to have changed a lot recently. I really love like the Edwardian boho vibe. I also really love witchcore. I love like fantasy kind of dress and I will leave a link to my Pinterest board down below where um, um, correlate all my clothing inspiration but you know my wardrobe is pretty full I go thrifting most months in fact the first video of each month is usually a thrift haul showing you what I thrifted over the month but this month is going to be different this month we're having a clear out because if you don't watch my witchcrafting videos which is fair I do follow the wheel of the year but I follow it as seasons not just days so we're in Samhain season at the moment which is all about letting go shedding letting the leaves fall you know that autumnal letting go of what no longer works for you and a lot of my clothing I'm finding that I'm not getting really drawn to wearing and there's hardly any room <laughs> i've also hold on let me bring you closer i've also started encroaching onto my husband's side of the wardrobe which is never a good thing so my plan is to go through this because i can barely like i can't get in here properly to really have a look through and so we're getting rid of clothes that no longer serve me, that no longer feel good. Also, if you notice, my zip's broken. Um, we're just going to pretend that's not happening because I really like this dress. So we're going to just ignore that and instead concentrate on this. So my plan is to just basically take everything out and go through everything. And I'm not going to show you the whole entire process because that would be hours long however if I get to a thing that I'm going to definitely get rid of I will show you or if I have two things that are similar I will show you and we'll talk about it but yeah we need to get rid of things but before we do that don't forget if you're new here you can click the subscribe button to become part of the butterfly family we would absolutely love to have you here you're more than welcome don't forget to leave this video a cheeky like and a comment down below so that i know and the youtube reverse knows that you enjoy my content and it will help me to get spread out you know in people's notifications what what am I saying? Oh gosh. I'm not feeling well. I was ill all last week and I'm still ill now. Hence my very pale face. Like I usually look really alive. But the best way to support me here at the channel is by following the links in the description and the pinned comment down below to Ko-fi and Patreon where you can leave either a one-off payment, you can just follow me or you can sign up for £2 a month to be part of the Butterfly family over there where you will get extra videos when I'm well enough to do them, where you will get access to a Discord server and extra bits and bobs as I'm able to share them. So make sure you follow the links down below. But um, let's get to it because this is crazy. This is crazy. And so I'm kind of finding myself really drawn to different styles. And so I need to go through and look at each and every item in my wardrobe and just make sure, does it give me joy? Do I love it? Am I drawn to wearing it? And if the answer to any of those is no, it's got to go. Ooh. Okay, I see you, Poet Beverly. But um, I really hope that you enjoy this video. And um, let me know if you are addicted to buying clothes at the charity shop. Because if you are, 
we need to be friends. For the first thing I've pulled out of my wardrobe, I literally was given like last week or something, my sister-in-law found this at a charity shop. It's, I don't know, is it handmade? I'm not sure actually. It might be a handmade item, but it feels like a fast fashion. You know, that kind of really awful, like silky, this is made of the same thing. I think it's like Primark or something, but it's like, it's nice in theory it's my style but i don't wear a lot of shirts blouses kind of things i don't i don't grab for them is my point so i think i'm going to take this send this to the charity shop so somebody else who does wear a lot of shirts can therefore recycle it and reuse it so that is the first thing that's going thank you for thinking of me kelly i love you to death but it's just not really my style. It's close, but it's not really my style, you know? So this is the first top that I've been like, should I, shan't I keep her? She's pretty, I love her, but I don't have anything that goes with her. So this is from the 1980s. When you wear it, it like really nicely fills out. So it's only gaping because no one's in it. When, when you wear it, it like kind of fits around your boobs really nicely and makes this nice little hole here just a teeny weeny hole. It's very pretty, it's like a peplum and it's from the 1980s. It's an original, it's got this like fake weird crossover thing at the top, silky fabric, it's really really pretty. It has this lovely thing at the back but I don't have a lot that goes with it. So to keep or not to keep, I want to keep. Maybe I should make a maybe pile. Okay, so this is the first one for the maybe pile, which is a new pile that I just created. Mm. Okay, this is my first dilemma. I have two similar-ish items. I have this one, which is kind of see-through-y. Can you see me? I'm see-through. And it's got this really cute little lacy collar on it. I thrifted this years ago. It's originally F and F. It's just like a little short sleeve one and this one is actually from the 90s it's got this really lovely like Edwardian feeling to it it's got short sleeves lacy and then it's like bunchy outy do I know how to speak English I do not this was my mom's so I think I'm going to get rid of this one and keep this one because this one was my mom's and I remember her wearing it and it's really nice and uh, yeah which one would you keep do you think I'm crazy getting rid of the one with the collar the collar is cute but I, I haven't worn this in a while so I think we're gonna be good we're gonna be good we're gonna try okay I'm gonna get rid of this blouse and I feel very torn on it but this is something I thrifted years ago from eBay and it's this beautiful short sleeve blouse that somebody handmade. This is a handmade item. I love thrifting handmade items. The only thing is, I think I've worn it like twice. I don't wear a lot of blouses. I have a lot of blouses. I have a lot of tops. I'm saving a lot of tops. I might have to go through them again. But I feel like there's somebody else out there who is going to wear this, who is going to be like, that is so me. I need it right now whereas I was like that is so pretty I have to keep it and save it because look at the pretty pattern it's so autumnal so cute but I literally have nothing to go with it and so I have to say goodbye to it I feel sad but it's never been worn by me and it's not really going my wardrobe I feel sad oh ignore the dogs going crazy the shopping has arrived but I think I'm gonna let go of this this is very cute for the spring and summer it's like elasticated shearing and is these lovely blocks of like ice cream colors and it's really sweet when it's on but again i don't have a lot that matches with it i thrifted it but it was originally from two which is sainsbury's i think it's really pretty really nice and i think somebody will wear it and think oh i just feel like the best version of myself but for me it doesn't really fit my style anymore i'm going for more like blocked colors rather than these kind of colors and i like florals more i feel more drawn to florals so bye bye my darling here we have another top that I never thought I would get rid of and it's this 1980s original 
bright blue with butterflies all over it. It's such a nice blouse. It still has the um, shoulder pads in. It was originally by Superior. I don't know who that is. I got this from eBay, but it literally goes with nothing in my out in my wardrobe. Nothing at all. Not a single thing. Uh, I bought it just because it's from the 80s and it has butterflies on it. They're two of my favourite things, as the all know. But you know. When you, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I don't really wear things as bright as this anymore. So I think it's time to say goodbye. This is so difficult. This is so difficult. Shedding your skin. Shedding the things that no longer serve you. Letting go of friendships that don't serve you anymore. Letting go of things in your life that are not good for you anymore. Those things are the hardest things to do. They seriously are. And... I get very attached to items. I always have. When I was a kid, I also did. I would often get like emotionally attached to like a crisp packet that had been in my pocket for too long and stuff. So it's not a surprise to me that I would get very, very attached to this butterfly top. But somebody else will buy this and love it. So go on and live your best life, butterfly blouse. Live your best life. <laughs> So that's all the blouses done. So that's step one of the whole process done. Let me show you. So these are all the stayers. It's quite deep. I've still got quite a lot of blouses. For somebody who says she doesn't really wear blouses, I, I do really. But down here are the um, saying goodbye to. Oh, I need to get better at this. I really do. So now we are moving on to skirts. My skirts go from here to here. Like, there's a lot of skirts. I need to be ruthless here. I need to be like, do I wear it? Do I love it? Do I not? Please send me good vibes. I need help. <laughs> this is so hard. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this is a skirt I wear a lot. It's a beautiful skirt. It's from Lindy Bop originally. It's a circle skirt in a beautiful blue with gorgeous flowers all over it. But I've had it for years now and it actually doesn't fit me anymore. It's way too big on me and I just don't feel cute in it anymore. So although I love this skirt, I think it's time to say goodbye. This makes me so sad. But I think, you know, if something doesn't fit, then it's time to let it go. You know, it's time to be brave <laughs> and somebody else in the town will love this skirt and it will it will be worn onwards so so I've just quickly gone through the skirts oh you're very crooked I apologize that's better okay so I've quickly gone through all my skirts and these are the ones that I'm getting rid of and again if you follow me on Instagram or you've followed me on the channel for a while these might shock you some of these but this is a really nice like denim-y kind of skirt with like little white roses around the bottom. This is originally Collectif, I believe. I think this was the first skirt I ever bought from Collectif. It's got the old label. But I don't reach for it. I have another like denim skirt that is much more like 70s style and I reach for it a lot more. I just don't reach for this skirt anymore. So it's time to say goodbye. The next one is this. It's, um, I got this because it reminded me of like Outlander sort of thing, but the pattern, it's just not my favourite and the feel of it really sets off my sensoriness. I thrifted it like a couple of months ago thinking it would really be good for autumn and winter, but I just don't find myself inspired by it. I think it's because I was going by like my 40s, 50s kind of vibe and that is not my vibe anymore. Also, this skirt, which I wore at Halloween this year, but I just didn't feel cute in it anymore. I just didn't want to wear, like I wore it, but I didn't love it, if that makes sense. Uh, this again is Collectif. So we're going to pop that down there. This one I'm not sure about. I might keep, I might not. It's going to go on the maybe pile, but this is a gingham dress, very cottage core, with a lovely little ripple on the bottom. I think this is collective as well. I do, I did went through, I did went through, okay Beverly, speaking English, yes it's collective. I did go through like a proper full-on I'm buying like anything that's in the sale 
by Collective but I'm just not feeling it anymore and I don't know but this is very much my vibe in the spring and summer so it's a maybe it's a maybe this yellow dress skirt I bought a while back from eBay it's one that somebody had handmade but the pockets are in the wrong place it's badly made um yeah it's just not the best skirt and I do have other light coloured skirts that I'm much more likely to reach for than this one so I'm sorry to say it but it's going we just need to stop hoarding things Beverly we need to start letting other people have the nice things you know now these are both maybes and they're sharing they're sharing space the first one is these trousers are so cute they're originally by oasis and they're black with flowers all over but if you've been following me for a while you will know i don't wear trousers and i don't really have any although that pink peplum top might go with it i don't know i do like them and they are by oasis so they're probably quite expensive once upon a day but I don't know and then on the other side we have another pair in um, white with flowers all over and they're like wide legged like culottes like secret pants these ones fit me but they'll be too big for me because I'm losing weight at the moment I'm on a diet so these might not fit me in the summer and these might never fit me <laughs> so I might just let them both go in a subtle twist <laughs> in the tail i might just say goodbye to both because although these trousers are absolutely gorgeous i've worn them once it's not really my style so that's everything let me show you so this is the pile of to goes along with one skirt that's over on the other pile and that's this is the mahoosive pile of to keeps of just skirts that I can't let go of. I have a problem. I love skirts. I love wearing a skirt with a pretty top. Skirt and top, skirt and top. I love that. But I wear dresses mostly and I, I'm getting fewer and fewer dresses so I don't know what's going on. But yeah, these are all skirts that I cannot live without. So now we're on to dresses. I need to be ruthless. I need to be because I want to be able to, you know, spans expansively no, easily look through my wardrobe and at the moment I'm not at that point and I haven't even got rid of that much stuff so I'm a bit because I've got other things that I need to add in so it's a bit scary okay so I just quickly went through my dresses and took out the ones that I definitely want to keep but um, here are the dresses that I'm thinking of getting rid of and again some of these might surprise you but this is Collectif and or is it no it's hell bunny this is a hell bunny dress it's quite a famous dress they do it in different colors it's really pretty it's got pretty um birds and things on it but i haven't worn it in a while and i tried it on the other day and i just didn't feel good in it so it's time to say goodbye to the hell bunny dress <laughs> so the next is this dress i thrifted this not too long back it's plain black on the top and then it's can I hold it high enough? It's got like fairy tale scene and swans and things along the bottom. I think this was handmade by somebody, but it hasn't been made very well because the this part of it, it doesn't come to the waist. It comes to like here and then it goes straight out into a skirt. So I think that's where they've gone wrong. They've made the top bit too shallow. So it doesn't fit right and it isn't comfortable to wear. So although I like the style of it and I love like the fairy tale theme, it's got to go. We've got to we've got to keep things that we love. And if I don't love it, it's got to go bye. Got to go goodbye. Next up, we have two similar dresses. So we have a plain j j uh, plain jersey dress. This has like there's nothing to it. It's just a t-shirt dress basically. I wore this like two days ago the first day i got out of bed i was like i'm just going to throw this on with a pair of leggings and a cardigan i felt really cute and cozy but it is quite similar to this other jersey dress which has lace inserts in it and this one is by next and this one is by peacocks 
and so I'm going to keep the next dress because it has got these beautiful little lace inserts in it which just give it an extra something and it is equally as comfortable as this one so we're going to be good then I'm a bit conflicted because I have these two dresses they're both denim-ish they're not really denim they're like fake denim and they're both by Next so they would have been expensive this one is really nice it's pretty I thrifted this like last month it has this lacing around the neckline really nice little dress and would be cute just to throw on on a day where I don't feel like making much of an effort <laughs> And this one is just a plain like denim pinafore dress with cute little pockets and a frill around the bottom. And I see these two next to each other and I think they're quite similar. But I like them both for different things. I can put like a cute blouse underneath this and make it really sweet, cute little outfit out of it. And this I think is going to look really nice in the summer because it has these cute little cap sleeves. I'm not 100% sold on this one, but I'm going to save it till the summer, see if I reach for it. If I don't, it will go to the charity shop next time I have a thrift go a wardrobe clear out. But it is cute, it has nice little ties around it and it's, I mean it's very low, but I can just put a little cami on underneath, very cute. Next up, this one is a maybe. I don't know if I want to get rid of it or keep it, but I find this a lot. I'm really, I really love like the spooky 50s kind of vixen vibe. And I bought this from Collective. It has these beautiful stars and things. And at the bottom, it has like witchy potion bottles. And it's really like cute and spooky and it's got the right vibe to it. But it's clearly a Halloween dress. And so I don't really reach for it the rest of the year like when would I wear it other than Halloween so I'm like you're beautiful I love you but when am I going to wear you plus I feel like because at the moment I'm on a diet and I'm losing weight is it still going to fit me next year because it is a little bit too big even now so I don't know but then next Halloween what am I going to wear like although it, you know I'm witch core so I'm sure I can find things. I'm very conflicted on this one. So this goes on the maybe pile. And then we have one of these sailor dresses. I don't know why I bought it in the green. I think if I'd bought it in the blue, because this is by Hell Bunny, and they did bring it out in blue, but I got it in green. Um, I'm not sure why. I think because I love like nature and greens and but blue is one of my favourite colours so I don't understand. But I haven't reached for this in about a year. I haven't worn it in a long time. I don't know if it even fits me anymore and I just don't feel called to wear it. It doesn't really fit in with the rest of my clothes that are all like 70s, 80s vibes. So it's going then we have this dress which i always feel very witchy in because it's got these like lightning bolts on it but i don't know like it's not the comfiest dress it's not the worst it's not the best it's just kind of a you know i want to look cute but i can't be bothered kind of days i just throw this on with some leggings i do like that it's got long sleeves i don't have many dresses with long sleeves but i do wear dresses a lot of the time with a cardigan so I just, I don't know. I wore this recently, it's by Bowden, which I think is like a brand, like a, an expensive brand. It's, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I just don't love it. And that was part of the rules. If I don't love it, I've gotta say goodbye. If I'm not like, this is my favorite, I love this dress, which I've already taken those dresses out. There's a lot of them, I'm scared. But still, you know? got to be good then we have this this I bought from Morrison's last summer um, I saw it in the supermarket it's it's just a supermarket little dress it's very, it's fine it's it's a nice it's a nice dress it's an okay dress it's a dress there isn't a lot of style to it but everybody in my town bought this dress in this color and everywhere I went somebody was wearing this dress I don't feel special no more no I just didn't I just didn't feel called cool to wear it all that much once I started realizing everybody had it and although it's a really pretty like spring sage green kind of color I I just don't think it's the type of dress that I'm going to wear a lot of or get a lot of use out of this next dress that is going might surprise you again it surprises me this is originally by Anne Moll Anne Moll 
don't know who that is but um it's a really nice dress don't get me wrong but it has no sleeves and i'm very self-conscious about my arms i don't know why uh society probably it's my age but um i don't know I wore it once and I thought it was okay, didn't love it, didn't hate it, it's kind of like mm. And when I've got such a jam-packed cupboard, I need to start culling them and I need to start being a bit um, ruthless about it all. So it's going on the uh, to-go pile. This next one I got from eBay not too long back, it's a 90s original dress, it has these beautiful like flowers all over it, still has the... shoulder pads in came with the belt the belt included it's very 90s but when I wore it it was too big for me in the shoulders I do have quite small shoulders and I looked a bit like a rugby player so although I love this dress for the whole 90s aesthetic of it all I have to be honest with myself and say I'm probably not going to wear it again just because it doesn't really fit me and I didn't feel cute in it so I'm going to say goodbye to it and I just have to hope that somebody else who loves the whole 90s vibe era thing will pick it up and love it. The last one I got when uh, I fell in love with Nancy from Stranger Things. It's a 1980s dress, an original. It's white with um, teal and blue on it. And I do love this dress. It has big pockets. It's just very comfy and everything, but it's white. And I'm always self-conscious about my underwear showing. Honestly, it's really pretty and I do feel like Nancy from Stranger Things and when my hair was permed before I grew it out and everything, you know, it looked really good and I could easily cosplay as Nancy but yeah, I need to be, do you love it? You can't keep a dress just because you feel like Nancy from Stranger Things, you know? Like not when you've got limited wardrobe space. I don't live in America where we have these huge built-in closets, it's just not a thing. Okay, so there's the pile of dresses to go, there's the pile of dresses to stay. So I think I've like halved that, which is a really good thing, but still the bed is full of clothes that need to go back in the wardrobe. So as you can see, all the things I'm keeping are back in my wardrobe and I can actually have a look I've been reminded of clothes that I had forgotten I owned and that's never a good place to be so now we have these few on this side these are like boleros little jackets and things so we're just going to go through them together these are really nice waistcoats that's a really nice glittery one and this is one from the 60s that somebody made oh no they didn't it's from urban behavior I don't know what that is but look at that so pretty so nice so they are staying for sure i have this which i'm definitely keeping it is like a little corset top by laura ashley from like the 80s or something that i got really cheaply um from a charity shop so that's going nowhere i absolutely love it the glitter on it oh it is beautiful okay so then i have a little silver bolero i think i'm gonna let this one go Boleros aren't really my thing anymore. I used to wear them a lot, but not anymore. This is a top that my sister-in-law got for me. I haven't worn it yet because it's not warm weather. It's originally Oasis. It is quite nice. I'm going to see if I can style it in the spring and summer, and if I don't wear it, then it will go. Nice. It's a nice top. I just don't know how I would personally style it, but it is quite witchy, so we shall see. Then we have another little like bolero cardigan. It's in red. Dorothy Perkins originally. Again, that's going. I have a little cardigan in mesh. This is so pretty. I have this, which is very witch core. It's like a little shrug jacket thing. I love these little over the top things. Over the top? I don't mean over the top, like they're too much to handle. I mean like little jackety things I feel very witchy whenever I wear them I have this one and I have this one as well they make me feel very like 1920s and I love it and then I have this really cute cardigan that is staying it's a mesh cardigan so it's not very useful but it is very cute so 
Then I have another little top. These are really useful for going over the top of dresses when I don't know where something underneath, but I don't like this part of my arms, like where my arm meets. It's weird, okay? I'm a human. I have weird things that I don't like about myself. And then I got this one last month. Isn't it beautiful? Just reminded me so much of like that 1920s vibe. Cannot wait to wear that one. And then I have this one, but do I keep this one? It's not really my vibe, but I'm going to keep hold of it and see if I manage to be able to style it in the spring and summer. Ah, oh, I need help. Are these going to fit in here? Oh my goodness. They might have to go back in the husband's side. Sorry, husband. And I am going to get rid of this um, petticoat like Lindy Bop. Should I or shouldn't I? They're hard to find now, these lady bops. I might keep it. So there we have it. Wardrobe is done. I can actually move through my clothes. It feels really good. I'm so proud of myself. I do have two drawers that I need to clear out, but I'll probably do that on my weekly vlog. Actually, let me turn us around so I can sit down because I'm tired now. So yes, I'm sat down on the bed now and I am exhausted, <laughs> exhausted. Standing up for that long and doing that was not a good idea after being sick for a whole week. However, it's done now and I'm feeling so much better. I have a huge pile of clothing over here. Let me take a photograph so you can see how bad it is, but in a good way. I also have so one pair of shoes and some old slippers that were just thrown in the bottom of the wardrobe for no reason whatsoever. So I've managed to, to clear space. I'm feeling good about that. I'm feeling good about myself. Feeling good. What I will do is uh, the vlog for December I do a weekly vlog every month so the weekly vlog for December I'll probably one of the days sort out my those two drawers but if I don't if I'm not well enough whatever it's not that exciting you're not gonna lose out you know it's just sorting out drawers but I do find I love watching these decluttering videos my favorite is by is it Loopsy I've been watching her for years and I love her decluttering videos also Hayley Marie Vintage I'll leave links to both of them down below but their decluttering videos just inspire me so much to stop hoarding clothes that don't fit me that don't make me feel good that don't look good on get rid of it let it go and just keep stuff that makes you feel good like this dress makes me feel good but the zip does not work so I what can I do <sighs> this dress might have to go and that would make me sad but you know that's life anyway I'm really proud of myself so um, if you're a hoarder and a maximalist as well and you struggle to let go of things no you're not alone and uh, we can do this together right we can get our house organized but yeah I really enjoyed this and I hope you did as well let me know down below leave me a comment let me know if there's anything you were really shocked that I got rid of anything that you wish I hadn't got rid of that you're like why why would you get rid of that 90s dress why would you get rid of the butterfly top I know I know I just have to be have to be good but um yeah I'm just so grateful for all of you being here I'm gonna give a huge shout out and because I have memory issues I have I have to take a screen capture of everyone and that's not because I don't love you all I do I love my patreons I love you whether you can donate to me on patreon or not it is two pounds a month so it's not expensive, like some people's Patreons are crazy money. It's just £2 a month, but still I know that people are struggling under this wonderful Tory government that we have right now. So if you're not able to, you're still loved, you're still welcome here, thank you for being here. But a huge shout out to Ravin, who is my first Patreon, then to Kirsty Nelms, who did my rebranding here and did an amazing job. She's become one of my best friends, I'm incredibly thankful for her. Margaret Finlay, Sarah O'Donoghue, who is the admin over on the Discord server. She's so active there, so lovely, one of my good friends, so go and follow her. 
and Lindsay Wynn Stanley a big thank you to you my newest Patreon so if you would like to help out with the running of the channel with things like going thrifting having days out going and buying books and tarot decks to review on the channel if you enjoy all of those things I pay for it all out of my own money so if you would like to donate that is very much appreciated it all just gets put back into this journey that I'm on. I hope you all have a wonderful magical week and I hope you enjoyed being here. Don't forget if you are new here head down below click that subscribe button ring that little bell so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here on a Friday but sometimes on a Monday just depends what's cracking lacking in my life and what I feel like doing and how well I am. Some weeks I'm not here at all you know health comes first and everything. Everyone be kind to yourselves. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Remember, pace yourself. The holidays are coming. Not everybody enjoys the holiday season. It's okay to not be okay this time of year. There are many, many reasons why people don't enjoy this time of year. I am one of them. So if you struggle this time of year as well, I'm sending you so much love. Have a wonderful, magical week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, my friends. I don't know why I sang that, but I shall see you soon. Ciao!